Hi friends, welcome to English Guru YouTube channel. Now I am going to teach you 10 multiple choice questions on subject verb agreement, which are indispensable for your competitive exams. Let's start. First of all, we have to analyze an example on subject verb agreement. Everyone in the telecom focus group does experience the problems with cell phones. My lovable students, my amiable friends, take a glance here. Everyone. If a sentence starts by using many a, each, each one, every, everyone, either, neither, the verb becomes singular. Understood? That's why we can use the singular verb has here. Everyone in the telecom focus group has experienced problems with cell phones. Then, question number one. Your friendship over the years and your support does mean a great deal to us. Your friendship over the years and your support does mean a great deal to us. My lovable students, my amiable friends. Take a glance. Friendship and support. These two nouns are not related to each other, though these two nouns joined by a coordinating conjunction. Understood? But two nouns have a mentioned in the sentence. That's why we can use the plural verb have. Your friendship over the years and your support have meant to have meant a great deal to us. My lovable students, my amiable friends. Next one, question number two. Hamilton Family Center. A shelter for teenage runaways in San Francisco. There is a wide variety of services. Hamilton Family Center is shelter for teenage runaways in San Francisco. There is a wide variety of services. My lovable students, my email friends. Hamilton Family Center, it refers to the singular noun. Understood? Hamilton Family Center. That's why the verb will be singular offers. Hamilton Family Center, a shelter for teenage, run away in San Francisco, offers a wide variety of services. Question number three. The main source of income for Trinidad does oil and peach. The main source of income for Trinidad does oil and peach. My lovable students, my amiable friends. Main source refers to singular form of the verb. Understood? Main source which means it refers to singular verb, main source. It refers to singular noun, understood? That's why we can use the singular verb is. The main source of income for Trinidad is oil and peach. Question number four. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर द चांसेस ऑफ यूर बींग प्रमोटेड डैश एक्सेलेंट द चांसेस ऑफ यूर बींग प्रमोटेड डैश एक्सेलेंट माई लवेबल फ्रेंड्स माई एमेबल स्टूडेंट्स द चांसेस इट रिफर्स टू प्लूरल नाउन अंडरस्टूड दैट्स वाई वी कैन यूज द प्लूरल भार आर द चांसेस ऑफ यूर बींग प्रमोटेड आर एक्सेलेंट द चांसेस ऑफ यूर बींग प्रमोटेड आर एक्सेलेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव There डैस a Pokemon card stuck to the refrigerator. There डैस a Pokemon card stuck to the refrigerator. My lovable students, my amiable friends. A Pokemon card, which means it refers to singular noun. Understood? That's why we can use the singular verb was. There was a Pokemon card stuck to the refrigerator. Question number six. Neither the professor nor his assistants was able to solve the mystery of the airy glow in the laboratory. Neither the professor nor his assistants. डैश एबल टू सल्व द मैस्टरी अफ द एरी ग्लो इन द लबरेटरी माइ लवेबल स्टूडेंट्स माइ एमेबल फ्रेंड्स वी हाव नोन दैट इफ ए सेन्टेन्स इज जयंट बै ए को रिलेटिव कंजक्शन अंडरस्टूड फास्ट अफ अल वी हाव टू नो दैट हुई आर कल्ड को रिलेटिव कंजक्शन नट ओनली बट अल्सो आईदर आर Neither nor both and these are called correlative conjunctions. So in this question, here is also a correlative conjunction neither nor. Understood? If a sentence is joined by a correlative conjunction, the verb becomes singular or plural according to the second noun. So here second noun has written in plural form. That's why. we can use the plural verb were neither the professor nor his assistants were able to solve the mystery of the airy glow in the laboratory understood here the second noun has written in plural form assistants has written here that's why we can use the plural verb were neither the professor nor his assistants we are able to solve the mystery of the airy glow in the laboratory then question number 7 many hours at the driving range dash Led us to design golf balls with GPS locators in them. My lovable students, my amiable friends. Many hours. It refers to plural noun. Many hours. At the driving range. We can use have here. Have led us. To design golf balls with GPS locators in them. Many hours at the driving range have led us to design golf balls with GPS locators in them. Then question number eight.
discovered in the soil of our city garden. There's a button dating from the civil war dating from the turn of the century. My lovable students, my amiable friends, take a glance. A button. Understood? It refers to singular noun. That's why you can use the singular verb was. Discovered in the soil of our city garden was a button dating from the civil war, dating from the turn of the century. Question number 9. Every year during the midsummer festival, the smoke of the village bonfires dash the sky. Every year during the midsummer festival, the smoke of the village bonfires dash the sky. My lovable students, my amiable friends. Take a glance here. Smoke of the village bonfires. Smoke of the village bonfires. It refers to plural form of the verb. It refers to plural noun. That's why we can use feel. Understood? Every year during the midsummer festival, the smoke of the village bonfires fill the sky. Question number 10. The study performers just surrounded by children and adults eager to see magical tales. The study performers just surrounded by children and adults eager to see magical tales. My lovable students, my amiable friends, take a glance. The story performers. It has explicated in plural form. So my lovable students, my amiable friends, you could have understood. You can very easily figure out it. That's why you can use the plural verb OER. The story performers were surrounded by children and adults eager to see magical tales. My lovable students, my amiable friends. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to brush up your knowledge on English grammatical points. Thanks a lot. May God bless you.